It has now been confirmed that the first person is coming to the game with the July patch. The patch is of course coming at the end of July. Along with this, the field of view slider is coming too, which was definitely needed, as the tunnel vision of first person right now seems to make a lot of people feel nauseous. First person versus third person has been one of the biggest subjects in PUBG where players are divided and have been spewing flames on Reddit for quite some time now. In my opinion, variety is good. I enjoy third person, but I will definitely also enjoy first person. I played quite a lot of Armor Free Battle Royale, where PlayerUnknown also made a hardcore first person only mode. Now, some say that this will save the game from all the camping. This is incorrect. However, it will avoid the camper having a massive advantage being able to third person view the player pushing, which I'm sure a lot of people are excited by. My guess is that tournaments when the game is released will be first person only because nobody will be able to spot another player without putting themselves at risk. Given the opportunity for more fights where both players get to actually see one another before getting eliminated. Whereas some fights a player in third person can sit and hide, peek for one second, headshot, sit back down and hide. What is really interesting to me is the late game. I love the hardcore mode late game in Armor 3 Battle Royale. I can guarantee you that it's 10 times more intense. If you like to hide, you rely only on your hearing, meaning you may adjust your volume to maybe three times the amount you usually use, so when people start blasting, you'll go deaf, but at least you heard that one guy stepping next to you. Now in my opinion, with experience from Armor 3, third person perspective is a more strategy based type game, as it leaves room for you to have a lot more open view, and plan ahead from here. Since you have this much more view, it feels like there's a lot more downtime. Sure, in first person you can plan ahead too, but you do not have the same tools available, as you're constantly on the edge of your seat making sure you can hear anybody around you. So that kind of third person seems like a more relaxed type of gameplay, in my opinion. First person perspective is more aim skill based. To spot a player, both players have to be visible to one another, making more fights fair. Now this is where a lot of people come in and say, this shit I like. Because a lot of people, including myself, can get kind of pissed off getting shot from a weirdest angle because he's been third personing you the whole time. Take a look at this guy in this building that I was just fighting with. Every time I went to peek, he went to hide because he could per third person view me and make his peek based from that. Which is essentially a really good play in third person mode. Some say, what? you're a pussy man. But no, it's in third person that's the absolute best way to do it. So he did the best thing. Some of this video was my personal opinion based on my battle royale experience. You may not agree, but make it a healthy discussion in the comments. I've been sick all day, so the video came a little late. Sorry about that. Anyhow, for the rest of this video, I'll roll the rest of this game. Now we're gonna skip through, just get a few more kills here, and skip to the late game. Because I know you guys care about the late game and want to see how I play it. Now I know some of you want the full game examples too. It'll come, it'll come. But for now, for this video, I didn't want it to keep it too long, so we're just gonna skip through these kills here. Bye bye, and then straight to the to the late game. Anyhow, let's roll it. Well, to get to this point in time, we got some kills, got an airdrop, and then we took a car and drove all the way around to the circle at the back from where we came. And then I got pushed by the circle here. Now my plan was to get as far in as fucking quick as I could. I knew my left side was clear. There could be people in front of me as the, these two. So I picked one. Now that guy was probably dead no matter what. Or him or the other guy that we just spotted. But basically if we can get into the white circle here without being spotted we're pretty much good. Because we can crawl around now as the circle is less than 200 meters. So everybody gets the grass loaded in. Or the wheat. And that was a pretty sick shot. Holy shit. You should see now, when I'm laying here, I'm gonna drop my backpack in a sec too. Nobody will be able to really spot me without trouble. Now as we talk first person, third person. First person here, I would be intense as fuck. Cause everybody be crawling around like snakes and not being able to see anybody. So you'd have to rely only on your hearing or stand up and expose yourself. So what will you do? I guess we'll find out in the next patch. But yeah, at this point we have a pretty good circle. Now, I have a feeling that there's going to be people over at the warehouses. 
because there always is and now they can't be in them anymore really so they'd have to push out but that means they're still around there so that's at least one guy i mean there's got to be one guy there which spoiler alert there was slowly snake our butt cheeks through the grass but a thing again about first person third person the bushes try to practice that now like chuckle first person third person to see how you gotta sit in the bush without your bottom sticking too far out or your head sticking too far out in the front just in case you want to use the bushes in first person they're still gonna be viable if you know how to place yourself but if you place yourself like an idiot where half your body is sticking out then of course it ain't good I did try to copy me here with a few nades I was kind of scared this was gonna be the end of me but it's all right so instantly I stay up because I know the, the last guy will peek me that is the best play to do when you're the third guy and the two other players are battling it out get up and fight with them that's it for this one did you know video part two is coming soon and uh if you're not a sub yet you know where to find that delicious sub button and um if you are one join the discord we are growing rapidly it's amazing stay cool